In this video, we are going to use order of operations to evaluate a couple of different numerical expressions. So the first problem we're going to look at is 28 divided by parentheses 11 minus 7 plus 3 close parentheses times 2. Now the whole key to this is this idea of these things called the order of operations. And you've probably heard of this before with the uh, acronym of PEMDAS. Right? Or maybe you've heard of it as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And really the point of this is to help you remember the order in which you need to perform the different mathematical operations. So what we have here is the P, which stands for uh, parentheses. And that comes first. And then you have the E for exponents. And then you have the M for multiplication. The D for division. And then lastly, you have the A for addition. And the S for subtraction. And you may notice that I wrote in the mostly in different colors, except that I wrote multiplication and division in the same color, as well as addition and subtraction in the same color. And, and there's a reason for that. A common mistake that people make when performing order of operations is they think that multiplication has to come before division, or that addition must come before subtraction, but that's actually not the case. Multiplication and division are equal in terms of order of operations. So when we see a multiplication or division, we do them in order from left to right. And actually the same is true with addition and subtraction. We perform those in order from left to right. So I've wrote those in the same colors to kind of help you see that multiplication and division are actually the same level of importance and addition and subtraction are also the same level of importance. So what I'm going to do this first time around is I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to do some quick color coding based on my, uh, based on my colors over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for anything that has parentheses and I'm going to color code that pink. So I see I have some parentheses here and some parentheses here. Um, I don't see any exponents, so there's no green. I'll then go through and see what multiplication or division symbols I see. So I have a multiplication here, or sorry, a, so I have a division here and a multiplication here. And then lastly, I'll highlight any addition or subtraction. So I see addition and subtraction inside the parentheses. So now I kind of have a sense of what sort of steps I need to perform. I have some parentheses, I have some multiplication and division, and then I have um, some addition and some subtraction. So let's start working this out. So I'm going to start with just writing my question again. 28 divided by, open parentheses, 11 minus 7 plus 3, close parentheses, times 2. Now. As I start looking from left to right, I'm going to start going down the order of operations. So I see that I have parentheses here first. So what I'm going to do in that case is I'm going to start looking inside the parentheses. And what I'm going to be looking for are any exponents and so on and so on on the inside. Now I've already done that and I know that I just have addition and subtraction. So here's where I have to remember my sort of little side rule about addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So the first thing that I'm really going to do is I'm going to take care of this subtraction step. So I'm going to start a new line of work with an equal sign, always an equal sign indicating a new line of work. 28 divided by, still parentheses, I haven't used them up yet, 11 minus 7 is 4, plus 3, close parentheses, times 2. Now I'm going to look again. What's highest up on my list? I have division, I have some parentheses, and I have multiplication. Parentheses are highest, so I'm going to do the work inside the parentheses, which in this case is the 4 plus 3, so I'll indicate that. New line of work again. Starts with an equal sign. 28 divided by 7 times 2. And notice I still have the parentheses here. I haven't actually used them up yet, and we'll see. I'm going to use them up pretty quickly here. Now I have only two steps left. I have a division step as well as a multiplication step. So in this case, I'm going to do division first, even though multiplication is listed first, because remember, it's an order from left to right. 
So that's going to be my step. And notice now my parentheses are going to be used up. So I'll work that out. That equals 28 divided by 7 is 4 times 2. And then I really only have one thing left to do, which is the 4 times 2. So now we'll work that out, which equals 8. So order of operations gives me a final answer of 8. This one here is evaluating 27 minus 3 over 2 times 5 minus 4. Now the tricky thing about this is this bar in the middle, which we think of as a fraction bar. Really what this is, is this is a division bar. And the tricky thing about a division bar is you have to keep in mind that, first of all, it represents division, but it is also a grouping symbol. So it kind of acts like parentheses. What it's really telling us is that what's on the top is in parentheses and what's on the bottom is in parentheses. So before we do division in this case, we have to evaluate the top part of the expression as well as the bottom part of the expression. So I usually do top first just to kind of keep things simple. I have a pattern there. So I'm going to start with writing my question down again. 27 minus 3 over 2, that little star means times, 5 minus 4. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do that subtraction step on the top, even though I have multiplication on the bottom, because my division bar indicates a grouping symbol. Right? So the first thing I'm going to do is that 27 minus 3. So I'll start a new line with an equal sign. 27 minus 3 is 24 over 2 times 5 minus 4. Now I'm done on the top, so now I'll work things out on the bottom. In this case here I have a multiplication step and a subtraction step. So multiplication comes first. So there's that 2 times 5. Now I'll work it out. 24 over 10 minus 4. Now I still have that division bar step, but remember it's a grouping symbol. So I need to make sure I actually do the subtraction on the bottom first. So I'll quickly work that one out, which equals 24 over 6. And now I can work on that final division step. So just to highlight that to be consistent, 24 divided by 6, and that equals 4. So once again, notice a couple other things. I started each line with an equal sign. Right? So I have equal signs at the beginning of each line of work. And I have kept them as close as I can to being in a straight line. And that's how we can use order of operations to evaluate some more complicated math expressions.